Hello, Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity, and today we're going to be talking about processed food and your gut. Um, the first thing is that processed food, especially ultra-processed food, whether it's this new crap vegetarian, vegan stuff or plant-based, or if it's just regular old-fashioned processed stuff, it's really not good for us, never has been, and there are times that over the years that people have looked at something like polysorbate 80 and they'll say, oh, well, it doesn't really create some problems at the levels that that are taken in typically with food. Uh, unfortunately, what people don't realize is that these everything we eat has an impact on our gut microbiome. And in case you don't know it by now, our gut microbiome has a massive role in pretty much everything that happens to us. But very clearly, things like inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. So in this particular study, researchers looked at um, sweeteners, emulsifiers, thickeners, and um, preservatives, I think was one of the, or one of the other categories. Um, specifically looked at things like sodium sulfite, aluminum silicate, which is an anti-caking agency, carrageenan, which is a seaweed thickener, Carbo or carboxymethyl cellulose, which is another stabilizer. Um, polysorbate 80, which is also found in a lot of different drugs. Uh, we find it in a lot of different processed foods. And um, sweeteners like saccharin, sucralose, and um, uh, aspartame. And what they found was that these preservatives or these chemicals in processed foods, let's call it that, had a distinct effect on the microbiome um, in, in generally bad ways. So these are affecting our microbiome differently than would eating the foods themselves. All of this boils back down to my eight-year-old rule, where if the typical eight-year-old can't read the ingredients label, we should not be eating it. So a lot of our foods don't pass the 35-year-old biochemist rule. Things like um, carboxymethylcellulose, like, it's not going to be an easy thing for an eight-year-old to pronounce. And when we take those in, those are definitely not good for our health. In particular, the um, carrageenan and polysorbate 80 had what the authors called a profound impact on certain species of bacteria that are known to drive inflammation in Crohn's disease. So what you eat plays a big role in the amount of inflammation that our gut is experiencing. Just yet another reason to go for processed, to, to avoid processed foods. And yet another reason not to listen to some people who say that these foods are, these chemicals are okay because they don't lead to like instant death in five minutes. But what they do do is change our aspects of our health. They're going to have long-term ramifications like autoimmune conditions in the gut. You combine that with the typically low quality foods that are preserved with these preservatives or thickeners or whatever, or artificial sweeteners, and it just creates a bad combination because you're not getting the nutrients that your gut needs and you're actually giving them things that the gut, that the, the uh, microbiome does not like and does not react well to. Uh, as always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.